even if you increase this blood flow by 10%, yeah. you'll nearly double the sensation. And with a proper setup, you can do uh, 25 of these a day within a year. It's viable and strictly therapeutic. You sure there'd be this kind of demand for it, though? Are you kidding? It's a gold mine. It's the same setup as a hernia clinic. You just in, out, snip, tuck. No big deal, no added cost. It's just a simple bypass. You've uh, used these Teflon arteries before. Yeah. You'd be better off with an organic graft, wouldn't you? What do you think, Harry? Well, Have you done anything with lab you. animals? Yes. There's nothing here. What do you think? Is it ethical? Hey, the plane's here. You guys ready? Mickey Mouse question was that. He's been laying numbers like that since he got here yesterday. What the hell's wrong with him? He's tired. Come on, we're none of us angels. You haven't seen the man since last year. Take it easy on him. He went to a lot of trouble organizing this thing. You thought about the offer yet? What? The Institute. Come in with us, Harry. That way, at least, I'll get to see your ugly puss once in a while. I never see you anymore. No one sees you anymore. Look, we've been all over this before. Lakeview lets me run neurology my way, and that's the way I like it. So don't start. Who's starting? Who's starting? If you want to work your guts out for peanuts, be my guest. But let me point out a few things to you, sir. A, Lakeview is a well-known snake pit, not fit for human habitation. B, you're a first-class surgeon. C, they need you. D, one of these mornings you're going to wake up needing them. And what do you got to show for it? A lot of worthless glory. I'll take my chances. Like Marty? He cracked up doing what you're doing. Marty had other problems. He was one of the best surgeons I ever saw. He still is. He's a juice artist, Harry. A juice artist. About all he does these days is reduce hernias and signed death certificates at that steel mill he worked Well, at he... least he tried. Now, where did you, uh... How far you say it is from here to the rim again? Calder? Yeah. Oh, mile, mile and a quarter. Stay west of this ridge. What about black flight? Good. Uh, DJ? Yeah? You didn't tell us it was black flight, did you? Gable, they are just little black flies. Are there many of them? Medium. days from today, around noon. See you then. Good fishing. How about the same place in the next one? Once a year.
called the cauldron of the moon. See, the Indians believed the moon bumped into the earth here, made this huge imprint called the cauldron. What were the Indians on, Peyote? Doesn't look as if the moon bumped into the earth to me. Okay, now hold it. And to the Indians, this whole area is big medicine. Well, here we are. Five little medicines on their way into one big one. Okay, stand by. Is this a take? Yeah, it's a take. Terrific. Where's the bloody campsite? It's all bush here. We clear the bush. Clear the bush? We clear the bush. And then what? Then we eat. Then we sleep. That's it. What did you expect, Martin? Dancing? Bob's report said sarcoma. The x-ray said sarcoma. What the hell was I supposed to do? What did the kids say? What do you mean, what the kids say? The kid was prepped and under by the time I got there. Every legend has its origin. You've never seen him before? No. Wouldn't that be funny? This place really is a magic place. What do you mean funny? If the moon did bump into the earth here. And I'm not saying it did, uh -huh. but if it did, then this place really is magic. Theory's got no middle. It does, but it doesn't. It's got a beginning and it's got an end, it's got no middle. Yeah, but in this theory, the beginning and the end overlap. And that's the middle. Sometimes 15 operations a day. I'm just trying to make a living. What the hell is wrong with that? What's wrong with making sure? Why are they yelling? We all make mistakes. Give us a break, will you? We work with people who make mistakes. Here! So why don't we put all our mistakes together and see if we can't get a rebate on our premiums? <laughs> 
And what rough beast. It's all come around at last. Slouches towards Bethlehem to be born. Nothing wrong with his procedure? Tell us about some of the basket cases you keep going, Harry. Oh, come on. No, really, I'm fascinated. When they wake up uh, blind or paralyzed, does Harry sometimes wonder if maybe he saved off just a little more brain than he should have? You, I mean, you, I've, I've, wait a minute, I've seen some of the wonders you keep going. 90% plumbing, 10% human. What the hell does a man have to turn into before you call it quits? You think I should pull a few plugs? Oh, hell no. If you want to see how long you can keep them going, that's your business. See? My theory <laughs> does work. No, it doesn't. The world lost a great clown when you gave up neurology. Why is it all pediatricians suffer from premature senility? <laughs> I think it's the kids. <laughs> You might cast one. With a wrist. Always with a wrist. With the wrist. <laughs> I said use your wrist. Where are the boats, you guys? I'm using my wrist already. They're by the fire, I think. You're using your elbow. I can live with it, DJ. I can live with it. They're not, you know. What you yelling about? His boots. He can't find his boots. They're by the fire. I told them that. They're not here. Check the tent. I'll check the tent. Who's well, here? Where are you going? To help them look for the boots. Take the bottle away from them while you're at yeah, it. Shut hey, up. everybody's boots are gone. Yeah, they're gone. I'm telling you, DJ, I'm not kidding you. They're not here. Where'd we leave him? Where'd we leave him? I don't know. They're not here now. Well, they must be here somewhere. No, I've looked everywhere. They're not here. Well, I, I looked in the tents. I checked the woods. They're not here. Is anything else gone? I don't think so. It's just the boots. Have you found them yet? No! Why would anyone steal five pairs of boots? Because they're worth 40 bucks a pair. There's a lot of other stuff around here that's worth much more. Maybe whoever stole them is a boot freak. I don't know. 
Don't you think we should discuss this a little? Discuss what? The alternatives. What alternatives? Start a bonfire. This area must be air patrolled. A plane can't land on the river. Look, we've got maybe 12 hours of daylight left. If I leave now, I can make that dam by tonight. A helicopter can get in here. They charge you for silly rescues, Mitzi. And if you start a forest fire, they throw away the key. We're sitting in the middle of a tinderbox, and you want to burn it down for a lousy five pair of boots? Well, this dam's 27 miles upriver, and the lake's only 15. What do you want me to do there, Abel? Grow roots for six days? Look, just let me take care of it, okay? DJ, I just don't know what the rush is. I just told you. Besides, six days of you clowns hobbling around. Who needs that? I didn't know there'd been anybody at that dam. They don't put beaver dams on government maps, Harry. It's a hydro dam, and operations that big don't run themselves. There'll be someone there. Well, I sure hope they have boots. I don't like the idea of you going up the river alone. I wouldn't have to go up the river alone if you clowns had brought extra shoes. We wouldn't be in this jackpot. Get off it, DJ. Look! Two months ago, I sent everyone Xerox sheets of what I would supply and what you were to bring. You were to bring extra shoes and your toothbrushes. I supplied everything else. I had everything organized. All you had to do was follow orders. What Xerox sheet? You know, Abel, there are people who for as little as $50 will break both a man's legs. Gee, that's terrible. My brother's done a lot of things, but he wouldn't do this. I'll take your word for it. for a couple of hours. The blood is almost fresh. We'll find DJ in the morning, Marty, when it's light. As soon as it's light. Do we have anything we can use as a weapon, Harry? Just the hatchet. God. Be almost childish if it weren't so horrible.
You know how far we've come? In the last three hours? A mile. Just over one mile. I've been counting. Counting what? My steps. We should get back to the river. We might have passed him. We won't pass him. We're here. Now move a little closer. Why do you want this now, Abel? For Sheila and the kids. Oh, God. How old are they now, anyway? Uh, one's 11, one's 12, and uh, I don't know how old the other one is. Do you know its name? Oh, sure. Uh, I try and look like you're enjoying yourselves. See no evil? Hear no evil? Speak no evil. Oh, I like it. Today, evil, today. <laughs> Dead, Martin. Marty's dead. Marty? Who was up there? What? Who was it, Marty? Was was someone up there? I heard him yell, DJ Harry. Marty? Hey, was somebody up there? It sure wasn't DJ. Why'd you yell his name? It wasn't DJ, Harry. I swear it wasn't DJ. You don't seem too sure about that. So what do you want me to say? I'm sure. April's dead, Harry. We're just... Just... Just trying to find out what happened. <laughs> Was it a man? Huh? 
I don't know. It was just... Just a movement. Those bees were no accident, huh? They were no accident. You should have waited. What about my brother? You should have waited. Ava would still be alive. Waited for what? Waited for help. We're in the middle of nowhere, Mitzi. No one's gonna help us. Maybe we should go back. To so what? Well, what Better about... still go back to the to the lake. Well, what about DJ? DJ can take care of himself. He'd never make it back to the lake. <laughs> don't have a compass. In that bush, we'd be walking in circles in half an hour. And let's stay here. What the hell do we do? We keep going until we reach the dam. Get the hell out of here as fast as we can. You're such a boob. Such a gentle boob. Couldn't we say something? Say what? He's dead. Halfway there. Halfway. Terrific. Come on. He's not going to make it any further. Better find a place to make camp before it gets dark. Yeah. Take it easy on the sauce, Marty. Talk to him, Harry. Give me the hatchet. I'll check up ahead. Yeah. Be careful. I think this must be like coming off a double ship of steelworks. What do you do there, anyway? Works. Think you're getting into that end of the business? I'm interested. You guys all right? You sit in a small office with a large scale and 80 cartons of industrial safety posters. Use DJs, exact words. Not getting my head in shape. With that, Harry, it wouldn't matter one speck of bug dung if I never picked up a scalpel again. I'm 38 years old. I'm an independent alcoholic. His last serious boyfriend is now a borderline psychotic teaching karmic fascism in the mountains. Didn't you once say that self-sacrifice was all right as long as you could pay the rent? Was I drinking at the time? You were never a drinker, were you? Yeah. Four years non-stop in Korea. I can even remember when I gave it up and why. Why? Because of a bridge over the Yim Jim River. I was drunk and bored at the time. God, was I bored. And I flew under it with an English captain. There's only six inches of clearance between the wingtips and the piers. <laughs> Pretty stupid, huh? We'll find him, Martin. Don't worry. Like Abel? Hey, you guys! Look at I found! It's DJ's rope! I found it! What? Here, Harry. Maybe he wanted to use it to pull himself back. 
Hey, watch it, watch it. Those rapids look like murder. Hey, Mike! Just over there, somewhere. <laughs> we'll make a fire, Martin. Uh, Don't worry. DJ will see a fire. You want to risk a fire? All right. What have we got for din, din? Other than this little delicacy. Harry doesn't want a fire, so we'll see what we can eat. That's no good. Oh, no, that's no good. No good. Rice? No good. Ah. Powdered milk? Rip. Rip. And in here? What have we got in Marty's pack? Oh, mine's no good to you. Scotch. Toilet paper. I see you came prepared. Anyone for dates and powdered milk? Well, I guess there are worse things in life than powdered milk, I suppose. Over here, DJ. That's a flashlight. Not the flashlight. So loud. Anything? Huh? Where are you, DJ? Put my back in the river. 
Get a sleeping bag around him. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I'll burn it. Should be in. Should be there. Yeah. What's happened to the artery? Really? Make sure the artery's all right. The artery's all right. Give me a drink. He's still in shock. I need a drink! Hurry! He needed this! The river was full of animal traps. DJ didn't do it. Like a minefield out there. Who the... Hey! What is this happening to us? God. God. Oh. A lot of very careful hatred has gone into this thing. And all I'm saying is that if any one of us, if any one of us knows something, that he should tell the others. Now is the time. Goody, 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 goody. Something like jelly self-incrimination. We're doctors, Marty. It's not inconceivable that one of our mistakes is a reason for all of this. Shall we start with our own mistakes? All the mistakes we helped with, all the mistakes we participated. How about just our worst mistakes, our very worst, best mistakes? After all, we don't want the proceedings to turn into a witch hunt. It's a simple question. All you have to say is no. I'll take your word for it. Let's see, Chet, stop! It's possible we're all paying for something one of us is responsible for. It's not outside the realm of possibility. Yeah, but it's one hell of an assumption. And tell me, Harry, what in God's name this clown is after? You think it's theft? I'm getting drunk, Mitchie. Spare me the temperance lecture, Harry. Martin's the one who's supposed to be getting drunk. Just because your old man was a juicer, Harry, doesn't make the rest of us candidates for Skid Row. I know what I'm doing. Hey. After you found out which one of us it was, were you going to throw the rascal to the wolves for the sake of the team? You bet, old buddy. How are we going to move him, Harry? Build a stretcher. Stretch. Why don't we float him? Now. Do it now. Better drink the rest of that. Uh, drunk enough. You sure? Fuck. What difference is it gonna make? Okay, hold it. Okay, easy. <laughs> do you want to do the honors? Which way do you want your instep? They seem front. Be gentle. It was your idea. So man, so so king. Anyway, he told me once how to train a chimpanzee. So that what you do is you train a chimpanzee at the end of a large tent or, or a large hall, it doesn't matter. And at the other end, you train a dog or a cat or an armadillo. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So then you let the people in. All the people who want to advance the education of the chimpanzee. But they ignore the chimp, and they concentrate on the dog. Now, they circle around the dog and shout salute. Uh, the dog just stands there, looking like a dog. Whatever, so they break it. Nick-nack. Nick-nack. Fatty 
back. One. Thanks. We're setting ducks down here. Your brother has bright ideas. Do you really believe there's a madman out there who wants revenge? I don't know. Do you? I don't know. There's a certain kind of um, what? unholy precision to this whole thing. Nothing's been left to chance. Our boots were stolen. What are you talking about? Draw us out. Draw out DJ. My leg was broken to slow us down. How do you know that? Rapids. Rope. Traps. It all seemed to come together at the same time. That rope was put there to draw us across. The dag's head. The Shut snake, up. The patient. Precision. No, the Aye. ceremony. Aye. Huh? Aye. The ceremony. Aye. They're being drawn deeper and deeper. I said, Into a kind of demonic rope. We're being used. And this thing, which is seven out of this force, we can get through. Knows that if it performs certain acts in a certain order, certain what? other things are bound to happen. What's that going up there? And then he knows he really has it. What is it? Some kind of thing. Come on, come on, come on. And the appeasement has to go on. What's going on here? Well, I was just invoking a wee bit of the old demon for old bitch here. Shut up. Hey, Missy. Carry your own carcass out of here. How quickly we forget our manners, eh, Missy? Get up. He's still responding to external stimulus. Partial dilation of the left pupil, but he's responding. I don't understand this fever.
looks like endotoxic shock. I think it's a subdural hematoma. Let's hope it's that. Marty. Martin. Uh, don't leave me. I'm sorry I said what I said about your old man. Who cares? I'm trying to apologize, Harry. Can't you accept that? I'll take it into consideration. Don't be too proud, Harry. We still need each other. Poor old Andy. He wasn't that different from my old man. Never met my old man, did you, Harry? Just a couple of silly old dreamers who couldn't handle the sauce. Hey, remember the time? <laughs> remember the time when I don't remember. You never saw him again much after that, did you? I never saw him again. Hey, Missy! Missy, come here! Huh? What is it? Is it the dad? Looks like a fire. Long time ago. I think he's taking a nap, Harry. Lay off. You gotta sign off now, Marty. All right. Now hold. Hold on. Hold on. Stay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Why don't you... Why don't you watch where you're going? How oh, about letting me take the front for a while? What difference does it make? It makes a hell of a difference. You try it back there for a while. All right. All right, you take the front. If you think it's, it's so much easier, take it. Now you're being petty. If you want to take the front, take the front. It doesn't matter to me. Well, it matters to me. It's a hell of a lot easier when you can see where you're going. Then take the damn thing. I will. The 
is right after the landing at Incheon. <laughs> Each one of these Korean regulars were issued two weeks' rations of rice. But nothing to cook it with, see? Nothing to cook it in. Well, one afternoon, I saw these uh, uh, three of them in a rice patty with a barrel of our gas. Now, they'd reshaped the sides of the patty into a small pond. Most of these rice patties were composed of human and animal waste. So, they soaked the sides of the patty with gasoline and lit it. And then they poured the, the rice into the patty water. And when it boils, they ate. They ate it. You told me this before, Harry. What's the point? Well, the point is either self-evident or there isn't any. He's not going to make it, you know. He'll make it. If he lasts the night, are we still going to carry him? What? Don't tell me it hasn't crossed your mind, Harry. That thing out there will come for us. And when it does, we won't be able to do a damn thing to stop it. We'll be too weak. That thing out there is a man, Mitzi. A man. He's not after him. He's after Russ. He's using him to grind us down. As long as we're carrying him, it's just where he wants us. We've got to start thinking like him. He expects us to carry him. He's counting on it. I don't think so. If anything, he wants to see if we'll leave him. He wants to degrade us first. Hasn't he already? He hasn't even started. He wants our faces in it. He wants us crawling. When we're dead, who's going to know whether we crawled or not? We will. We'll be the only ones. Look, Harry, he'll come after us. He can get him any time he wants. Our only chance is to make a break for it. The sooner we get to the dam, the sooner they'll come back for him. It makes sense. We're the ones he has to worry about now. You can't just leave him here. Now, what bloody difference does it make? Hey, 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 leave him alone. Even if he survives, what are you going to have? Another vegetable? Let well, me just wait to see. Why are you doing this, Harry? You're not that soft-hearted. You left your old man. Why not him? It's our lives. You want to risk our lives for that? I don't hold it against you, Harry. Yeah, of course you don't. We've survived a lot together, Harry. We can survive this if we use our heads. If we leave him. Who's going to know, Harry? I am. You kill me. I damn if I let him degrade me. I'd be damned if I let him do that. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Just a matter of time. Just a matter of time. Hey. This is ready.
throat. He could have cut our throats last night. I was tired. You were drunk. Don't talk to me like that, Harry. I'll take it. Then we're going to lose out of here. Look, Butcher did this. What? It's an army x-ray. We're paying for something that somebody else did. It was made in 1945. Now we have some idea what we're dealing with. Let's go. I'm not carrying him. I'm not carrying him. He'll get us killed. That maniac doesn't want him. He wants us. He'll get us killed. Leave him. He'll get us killed. I want to live, Harry. I want to live. He'll get you killed, Harry. Right 
Get the hell out of here. Come on. He's going to do to us what those army quacks did to him. He's going to butcher us. Come on, help me get him down. Let's just get the hell out of here, Harry. Come on. He's alive? Is he alive? What are you doing, Harry? 
Come on, let's get out of here. Can't leave him like this. What are you going to do, Harry? Kill him. You're crazy. You hear me? You're crazy. Marty. I can't carry any further. I'll come back for you. I swear. Please.
One of them doctors. Yeah. I tried to stop them. I I tried. The others. Where are the others? They're dead. What's your name? Jesse.
Nancy! Nancy! Harry! Oh, God! Is that you? Is that you? Where are you? Help me, Harry! I'm hanging from a tree or something! I'm tied up, Harry! That's you! I got a gun! Gun? You've got a gun? Hey, where is he? Below me! Somewhere behind me. Help me. I swear. Now, come on. Help me. My artery is severed. Mitzi, the poplar teal. Don't be. Come on, get him. You've got a gun. Come on, get him. Kill him now. Hurry. I'll tie it off for you. Before you bleed to death. Mitzi. Don't show panic now. Let me help you. Does he speak? Please. Does he understand language? I don't know. Stay calm. Don't panic him. Harry, don't faint. Don't faint. He's behind me, starting a fire. Harry! He's going to burn me. Shoot him. Shoot the gun. The I can't see him! Help me! Eric! He's talking! He's trying to say something! What? Repeat it! I can't make it out! Eric! Eric! Jesse! His brother!